Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, currently live on Instagram, currently also live on Periscope and Twitter, if all of this is working. If you'd like to join me on those various sites, we have more details coming up again about your complete forecast into the Mid-South coming up here in just a little bit. This is our video weather blog, what we call Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, we try to give you as much information as possible in regards to what's actually happening here in the Mid-South area. And as of right now, things are decently quiet, but we will be seeing again the possibility of more problems coming up in the course of the next couple of days. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. A little bit of clouds and fog left over from St. Francis in Cordova this morning, but otherwise not looking at too much of any major problems out across the Mid-South. So, so far so good out there where it comes to rainfall across much of the area, and we'll continue to see more of that throughout the course of the rest of the day. Some clearing skies out across much of the Mid-South. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Give me one second to get things set up here so you can see things a little bit more properly. What we've got is, again, a clearing conditions out across the Mid-South as our latest storm system begins to make its way up and out of the picture, heading away from us. That is what's left of Harvey over the last couple of days, and not going to be seeing too much more of him as dry air wraps its way around the system and does a very good job of making its way out of the picture. Could be a problem for the eastern Great Lakes and into and around portions of, say, New England in the next couple of days, but beyond that, there's just really not that much going on at this point. Heading into the rest of the next couple of days, things again are going to be rather on the quiet side. So far, so good throughout much of the area and looking pretty quiet, but as we go into next week, as our next storm system begins to approach, this again could be a bit of a problem as we get into the course of the next several days as that nor new storm system drops its way a little bit closer to us could be seeing the possibility of some stronger weather around Tuesday or so not that much again going on for this morning so definitely good news there taking a look out into the Atlantic we have again some concerns out there for right now Harvey is a tropical depression post tropical depression and basically just kind of making its way back up to toward the New England area we are watching with a lot of interest what's going on with Irma out into the Atlantic and another development of a possible storm system just beyond that over into around portions of areas of off the coast of Africa. That could be a bit of a problem at this point in time. Uh, third pick, PICC on Instagram. Uh, as of right now, Irma is again going to be making its way a little bit closer uh, to the area of the western Atlantic, but it does not seem to be a major or should I say immediate threat going on at this time, so definitely good news on that. Let me switch over here real quick if I can get to the uh, tropical outlook so we can see more about what's going on at this time. Irma is going to be again making its way a little bit closer toward around the Leeward Islands into the next several days and heading its way closer to around the Bahamas. The big story right now is which direction Irma is going to be going. It looks like it's going to be heading just north of the Bahamas and then quite possibly taking a bit of a turn northward. It's hoped that as of right now that this remains what's called a fish storm. It just aggravates the fish out into the ocean and bothers nobody else. So hopefully it's going to make that run between Bermuda and the East Coast and not give a problem to anybody else in the near future. But it, there are a couple of computer models, not many, but a couple of them that are taking it into the Gulf of Mexico and also brushing the East Coast around the Carolinas the Virginias into that area. So once again, if you're traveling anywhere, I would say between Key West and Boston, this is a storm you need to be aware of and to watch what goes on in and around portions of the area if that happens. It could also go into the Gulf of Mexico. There are some fake weather maps going around out there. Someone out there has created some false forecast maps and put the National Hurricane Center's logo on them. That's against federal law. Not a good idea. Check in with the National Hurricane Center on their website. You can go to hurricanes.gov for more information and find out more about what the forecast is going to be doing here. Let's take a look at the forecast here in the Mid-South area. As we head into the holiday, again, things are looking uh, pretty quiet at this point in time, so not doing too bad on the forecast overall. We do see, again, the potential for more showers and thunderstorms out there, which could be something to look at, again, by Tuesday into around Wednesday. Uh, K.F. Billingsley, thinking about visiting Shiloh Monday with the bikes. Haven't been to Shiloh in a couple years, at least since my son was in Scouts. That's a long time ago. Looking good for that, yes. As of right now, you know, on Monday, we are seeing, again, some very nice conditions for Labor Day. 
back in the mid to upper 80s. A little bit on the warm side. Again, may want to think about uh, taking along some extra bottles of water just to be on the safe side there, but not seeing any chance of rainfall at this point. The next best chance of rainfall is going to be showing up as we go into around Tuesday, looking about an 80% chance there, and it could be the possibility of some strong, maybe even some severe weather coming our direction. That could be a bit of a problem as we head into the forecast toward about the beginning portion of getting back to that foreshortened work week out there. Thanks very much, uh, Billings, KF Billingsley, for checking in. And uh, stay safe out there with the biking. Don't forget the bike helmet. That would be a very good idea. So, and again, for everybody outdoors, no problem at all for, again, the holiday weekend. Tuesday night into Wednesday, I would watch that system very, very carefully to see what goes on because, again, that could be our next threat of severe weather. Minimal though it may be, it is going to be again a possibility, so I would definitely watch that to see what is going on out there. Join me for the forecast. If you can't get to News Channel 3 to watch it on air or to get online at wrhg.com slash weather, and you're in the Mid-South, listen to us on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Great opportunity to listen to the forecast from yours truly on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. Forgot to mention, for those of you tuning in for the first time, forecast information in the blue bar here, social media information here in the red bar also up here as well, and my email address at that blue bar sitting up a little higher back up to the top of the screen. I'll also be back on with Bob and Josh on Monday through Friday morning on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio with their Talk Back Live segment, and I'll be glad to give you more information as to what's going on with the forecast there, so stick around for more information on that as we get you into your four shortened work and or school week. Again, pretty quiet in the Mid-South at this point in time, so no major problems being seen at this point. If you've got weather pictures, if you'd like to share them with us so we can share them on social media, please do so. The problem that we've got is we can't show them on things like our weather blog or on air or on our social media channels from News Channel 3 if you don't send them. You kind of see the problem here. So if you've got anything in the way of pictures, please send them along. We would like to know more about them, so pass them along to us. Again, I'm available on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, numerous other sites on there, so let us know. A uh, M Jambard, thanks very much for joining us, and thanks for the update at this point. Uh, again, stopping on by. Hank Williford, thanks for joining us, and everybody else who's been stopping on by so far this morning. Another update of your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend with yours truly, and I've got to get back out on set here to make certain everybody's updated on air with News Channel 3 Daybreak, so stay tuned for more on that. And again, weather updates throughout the rest of the weekend, including social media links here at wreg.com slash weather. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct Saturday morning from downtown Memphis. Stay tuned for much more throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online.